CataractCoach.com. It takes years to figure this out. I'll teach it to you in three minutes. Can you see what the problem is? So watch carefully. Seems like a routine case. We're getting a nice capsorexis done here. Looks good, about a five millimeter dilation, five millimeter capsorexis, that looks fine. Hydro dissection being done, balanced salt solution here on the plump cannula. You notice anything yet? A little more hydro dissection, that looks fine. Let's see, can we rotate the nucleus? Let's try to rotate this thing. A little more hydro dissection first. That looks pretty good. I bet it'll rotate. Yep, it rotates just fine. Looks great. All right, let's get the FACO probe. What do you notice that's different? Tell me about the lights. You see the microscope lights there in the middle of the eye, the three dots? Do you see more lights? Look around. Look carefully. Again, this is a patient with very deep set eyes. And so, because the eye is so deep set, when we put the phago probe in the eye, look how much pooling of water there is on the ocular surface. There's no chemosis. There's no subcontinental fluid, but yet we're still almost underwater. And I try to get the phago chop done, and I, I guess it kind of chops, but it's just so hard to see. Look at the reflections of the light. We're essentially operating underwater. Stop. Come out of the eye here. This is not what we want to do. Zoom out of the eye. We need to put a wick there. So a wick is a sponge or other device that's going to wick fluid away from the ocular surface. We can tuck it here in the inferior fornix, and it'll drain this fluid outside the eye. Let me zoom out and show you. That long wick goes here over the side of the face, and then I'll drain the fluid and prevent all this fluid from accumulating here. Now watch. Now we can get the phaco probe in the eye. Now we can get the chopper around, chop this nucleus. Now we can actually see what we're doing here. And it's a pretty dense nucleus. That's why the red reflex is poor. But what a difference it makes to have that wick there to wick away the excessive fluid in this deep set eye. Let's show you again, there's that wick, and you can see it's tucked in that inferior fornix. It's just tempered. At the end of the case, we'll remove it. But it makes life a lot easier. So if you find yourself in this situation, don't just try to power through the case with bad visibility. Stop. Put the wick there. Put some other device. Figure out the drainage. Make sure you're operating in a nice and comfortable and safe environment. That takes you to figure it out. You just learned it in three minutes.